So you um, play a bit of a flamenco style and mm -hmm. quite percussive. What sort of generally did that? What what made you do that? Uh, I saw a, I saw a guitarist called Eric Roche um, years ago, and it was him. He, he played it in a really weird way, and I sort of just got inspired by that. And it led into me researching players like Newton Faulkner and Thomas Lee and Anton Dufour and Andy McKee, the sort of YouTube, I guess, sort of stars of YouTube, but but also incredible incredible musicians. And I got into that style, and there was elements from from Anka playing as a kid that transferred to it. So why Flamenco in particular? Anything to do with your upbringing or family? Um, no, I was, I was born and raised in Devon, um, and there was a guy from Portugal who just lived in sort of the village next to Long, and, and I, went, I used to go surfing with him, and then we, we he'd teach me Flamenco guitar. That was just his style, and, and I was learning guitar from quite a young age. Um, That's so nice, but it sort of uh, distinguishes you from your peers. Mm, I guess so, yeah, yeah. So for you, what comes first, music or lyrics? Ooh, music, I think. Um, that, just, yeah, just about music. Um, lyrics are still massively, massively important, but for me it's creating the ambience as well. Probably because I came from guitar playing before I got into songwriting. Uh, what's your favourite lyric line, and um, is it mine? Um, that's a good one. Uh, I've like, I really like the line by. Well, my favourite song is "Imagine" by John Lennon. I think the whole that song as a, as a whole is incredible. But um, there's a line by Fink: um, "The things that keep us apart keep me alive, and the things that keep me alive keep me alone," which is written about the loneliness that there can be with music, and I, and I can relate to that a bit at the minute. And it's I like that line a lot. That's my current favourite line. Do you find get lonely on the road? Yeah, I guess so. It, it can. It's just. It's. 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 Um. It's amazing, but it's. It's quite a roller coaster, and it's just quite. It's quite. It's quite surreal, you know. You'll be. Here we are, quite in a little quiet dressing room, and then suddenly it's loud and manic, and everything's full on, and then you're on the road again, and it's just. It's just. It's quite. I'm just eyes and nose. Yeah, it's just quite. Quite. Quite full on, but. Um, have you come at all so far? Is it? Have you been? You've been on stage and thought, bricked it. No. <laughs> Thankfully not. No, I, I love it. I love this is the first sort of um I did a mini headline tour at the end of last year. This is the first sort of proper UK tour of doing sort of 18, 19 dates. Um and should we get the door yet? Yeah. <laughs> should we get the door? Come in! Who is it? Hello. I'm just gonna go through so I don't know you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're gonna cut that or should we just keep rolling? Well, if you keep going, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's a late. Alright, cool. It's rock and roll. <laughs> Uh, what's the first record you ever bought? <laughs> first record I ever bought was uh, Gone Till November by Wycliffe Sean. <laughs> Mine was Carly Minogue, so... Oh really? Okay, that's alright. <laughs> uh, what's your most recent musical purchase? Uh, I bought James Blake's new album yesterday. Two days ago, I think it was. And how did you find it? Love it. He's amazing. If you could be anyone dead or alive, who would you most like to be? Um, anyone dead or alive? That's a good one. I would have to be, I don't know who I'd be actually. Someone, probably, yeah, probably be a musician, you know. I don't know, doing what, this is my favourite job in the world. So, maybe someone, I mean Chris Martin, I think. I reckon maybe, yeah. Really? Well, in terms of music, I think he's like, they, they, they'll, they'll sell out any venue, play anywhere around the world. That thing of, it's the thing of, of I've, I've been in, they're the sort of biggest act I think I've been to see, like I went to the Wembley Stadium. And like to have tens of thousands of people joining in and singing harmonies along to your songs must just be the best thing in the world. But, yeah. I so think that's something you strive for, you think? I don't know if I ever want to get quite that massive, but, but yeah, it's certainly, certainly bigger venues and, and, and worldwide is on, on the to-do. So you toured UK a couple of times, so Europe next? Started US? In, yeah, um, done a little bit in Europe, done a couple of bits and pieces in Norway, and started getting a bit more in France. Um, yeah, I want to I hope to do more of Europe. I'd, I'd love to get out to like, Japan and Australia, and then obviously America as well. We'll see. What song do you never tire of hearing? Mm, 
three little birds I bought Molly. It's the end of the world. What's the last thing you do? <laughs> um, keep it clean. Keep it clean. <laughs> um, <laughs> it wouldn't be clean. Uh, Go on, just I, have Amazing meal. I had an amazing <laughs> meal with loved ones, I guess. That's what I would do. That's quite a common one. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your unclean version? <laughs> well, if you're going to die anyway, you might... I, might as well go out with a bang. Yeah. Probably just take a lot of drugs and, and party really hard, I guess. It doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> <It's> apocalyptic, <laughs> yeah. Who cares? Whatever. Okay, last one. What's your favourite childhood memory? I don't know, um... I really don't know. I, I had a pretty happy childhood. I don't, I don't recall anything in particular that's hey, jumping out to me right now. I think that could have done some kind of therapy session. Yeah, what is going on here? Uh, <laughs> happiest childhood memory. Um... I don't know, uh... I don't You're know. You're from Devon, is it called the sea and clotted cream? It does. <laughs> yes, eating clotted cream <laughs> is my favourite childhood memory. <laughs>